Color is far more than just a visual stimulus. It's an experience that captivates and inspires us. When expertly combined, even simple geometric forms like squares and circles can transform into compelling works of art, driven solely by the interplay of color. In a digital framework, a standard model for modern color representation, a typical trichromat distinguishes roughly 16 million colors. Yet, these 16 million variations are fundamentally derived from about 1536 unique hues. This distinction is crucial. While trichromats perceive a smooth continuum of these hues from light to dark, each shade retains its intrinsic hue, forming the foundation of our vibrant visual spectrum. This linear progression of hues is a hallmark of trichromatic vision. In contrast, those with dichromatic vision, who possess only two types of photoreceptor cones, experience color in a dramatically compressed form. For dichromats, hue is not a flowing continuum, but rather collapses into just two distinct states, resulting in a perceptual hue palette that is 768 times less nuanced than that of a trichromat. Today we delve deeper into the dimensionality of hues by examining tetrachromacy, the condition of having four functional cone types. By exploring this enhanced form of color perception, we aim to uncover insights into an even richer, more intricate plane of hues that transcends the familiar boundaries of trichromatic vision. Before we dive deeper, I recommend watching my video on true red tetrachromacy. In that video, I explain the unique phenomenon of true red tetrachromacy, which has greatly influenced my understanding and exploration of tetrachromatic vision. Over the past several months, I have developed first-hand experience with tetrachromacy by using a set of custom-built true red tetrachromacy glasses. As a trained observer, when I wear these glasses, my visual system temporarily shifts to a tetrachromatic state, revealing a four-dimensional color vision that goes far beyond what we normally experience. This transformation is rooted in the fundamental differences between trichromatic and tetrachromatic vision. In a trichromatic system, hue is essentially a one-dimensional phenomenon, a limitation imposed by having three types of cone receptors. In contrast, tetrachromacy introduces a fourth cone type, expanding color perception so that hue naturally becomes two-dimensional. This additional complexity not only enriches a tetrachromat's color experience, but also makes it challenging to directly compare and count hues between the two systems. Fortunately, by analyzing colors within a digital framework, where every color is defined by precise and discrete numerical values, we can begin to bridge the gap between these visual paradigms. This approach allows us to systematically explore and appreciate the nuanced differences between trichromatic and tetrachromatic vision, in order to determine the amount of tetrachromatic hues. To appreciate the full potential of tetrachromatic vision on a hypothetical screen with four distinct sub-pixels, we must first examine how the dimensionality of hue expands as we move from dichromacy to trichromacy. Consider the case of dichromacy. For instance, a proton knob, whose vision is confined to just two cone types maximally attuned to greenish and bluish light, experiences only two hues. Their perceptual spectrum, while capable of displaying numerous variations, remains restricted to modifications of these two foundational hues. It never reveals a distinct third hue, apart from perceptual white or black. Transitioning to trichromatic vision involves introducing a third primary color, red. This addition is not a mere overlay, it actively reshapes the entire previously dichromatic color landscape. By negatively adding red to portions of the original green cyan blue spectrum, while gradually incorporating it positively into the adjacent regions, the spectrum expands into a richer, more nuanced range of hues. In this case, this process mirrors the way red cyan 3D glasses create an altered yet recognizable separation of trichromatic hues. Though here we are deliberately engineering a form of trichromacy that diverges from normal retinal processes by disrupting the typical chromatic redundancy found in binocular color vision. When we juxtapose this engineered spectrum with a standard trichromatic hue spectrum, we uncover two distinct color experiences. 
One spectrum offers stable, familiar colors, while the other allows trained observers to perceive impossible color combinations, each illuminating the same dimensions of hue, but in perceptually different trichromatic colors. This exploration not only deepens our understanding of color perception, but also paves the way for investigating how tetrachromacy might further redefine our visual world. We can simulate tetrachromatic hues by deliberately breaking the natural chromatic redundancy of binocular vision, because tetrachromacy expands hue into a two-dimensional phenomenon, unlike the one-dimensional spectrum of trichromatic vision, a mere linear gradient simply cannot capture its full complexity. To create the 2D plane of tetrachromatic hues, we begin with the entire range of trichromatic hues and their variations in saturation and luminance. We then systematically blend these hues with a fourth primary color, a second non retinally added variant of red, by applying it both additively and subtractively. This process transforms the familiar trichromatic spectrum into a plane of new and distinct tetrachromatic hues. Next, we either map the resulting colors onto the surface of an unfolded sphere or on the surface of an unfolded tetrahedron. This geometric transformation converts the one-dimensional hue line into a two-dimensional plane, where every point represents a unique tetrachromatic hue. To a trained eye, no two hues on this plane appear identical even if most of you cannot perceive some of these colors stably and consistently yet. This two-dimensional model is not only visually compelling, it also allows us to quantify the tetrachromatic hue plane. By isolating the central triangle of the unfolded tetrahedron model, for example, we capture one quarter of the total hues. In this quadrant, the foundation consists of the standard trichromatic hues at its perimeter, totaling 1536 distinct colors. When we account for the variations in saturation that gradually converge towards trichromatic white, this number is multiplied by approximately 256, resulting in nearly 400,000 unique hues in just one quarter of the plane. Expanding this calculation to all four triangular sections by quadrupling this number, we arrive at a breathtaking total of roughly 1.6 million distinct tetrachromatic hues. This represents a 1024-fold increase in hue variation compared to trichromatic vision, an impressive leap that parallels the nearly 768-fold hue difference observed when comparing dichromacy to trichromacy. When analyzing the planar surface of this unfolded tetrachromatic hue saturation sphere, here every single dot constitutes a unique tetrachromatic hue, just like every hue on the trichromatic hue line is unique, even if both trichromatic and tetrachromatic hues become more similar the closer they get to each other. Tetrachromacy offers a staggering expansion of the dimensionality of our color perception a leap that even exceeds the transition from dichromacy to trichromacy. While many of you may not yet be able to stably and consistently perceive the simulated true red tetrachromatic hues displayed on the surface of this unfolded sphere, as entirely new colors, my trained eyes and brain discern each hue as uniquely distinct. This isn't just a digital trick. Thanks to the true red tetrachromacy glasses that I've built, I experience these extraordinary colors in real life also. So, how many hues does a tetrachromat see? In a digital environment equipped with a tetrachromatic display and matching color data, a tetrachromat can distinguish around 1.6 million unique hues. That's a 1024-fold increase in color differentiation compared to a standard trichromat. Such an enormous expansion in hue dimensionality might seem fantastical or even fictional to those unfamiliar with it. Yet these tetrachromatic hues are very real. And with the right technology, they can become part of our tangible experience. In conclusion, tetrachromacy doesn't just enhance the spectrum of trichromatic hues, it increases its dimensionality and revolutionizes the very way we perceive the world. This profound shift invites us to reimagine our visual experience, unlocking a plane of up to 1.6 million hues that humbles the linearity of ordinary trichromatic hue perception. 
Through my continuous innovations and explorations, the once impossible world of tetrachromatic vision has become a living, breathtaking reality, which remarkably transforms our understanding of color. I am Wu Kwai, and I will show you how to reshape and enhance your sensory experiences, because it is nothing but our senses that connect us to this world. Have fun watching and learning all these impossible colors. Thanks for watching. Thank you. 